Hi everyone. So I'm back for another Scrapplications video to make a few more Rolodex cards. And um, I'm going to start with this one. Uh, those of you who watched my most recent uh, Mixed Media Morsels Motivations uh, page, the one for March, um, you will recall that I showed you this Rolodex card that I made using all the scraps that I trimmed from around the edges of the pages. So I'm going to uh, finish out this Rolodex card today. And um, it's going to be very simple because I, I absolutely love how this looks and I don't want to change it. So I found in my stash um, the word adventure I had written out at some point. I don't even remember when I did this, but I decided not to use it. But it is, to me, perfect for this card. And it just... I don't know, this card just looks very adventurous, I guess. <laughs> but I love all of the uh, patterning and all of the color and the black and white. I just love it all. So I'm just gonna put this uh, in the middle and then I'm gonna add a little uh, tab to the top. I think right about in the middle. And um, I'm gonna add the word choose uh, to the tab. So it will say choose adventure. So that's what this card's gonna consist of. And um, I'm just gonna glue them down, put them on, and we'll be, we'll be done with one card. I hope everyone is doing well, that you're all staying uh, safe and um, taking the proper care and measures with your health. Um, I'm still doing the same. I'm still at home, I haven't moved moved uh, haven't budged an inch <laughs> and uh, I don't have any plans to go anywhere so uh, this little page tab is I, I actually cut it in half it was you know t a little bit wider and it's a sticker and I've had these for so long so I'm excited about using them as well and this one was a bright orange and it just looked like it went very nicely with um, with the colors on this tag, uh, card, I mean. Okay, that's a little crooked, but you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> you know me, I'm gonna put everything down crooked. If there's an option, yeah, I'm gonna not be able to do it straight. Okay. And this little word, I think I'll put a tiny bit of glue. This is a, it's like a fabric, uh, actually, tag. So I'm not sure that the adhesive on this uh, sticker is going to hold it there for very long so I'm going to just add a little bit of glue just to be on the safe side. Keep it in place. Get my little tweezers since it's so tiny. Okay, wipe the fingers. I'll have to do that in a minute. Let's see. So we've got the word choose right here. Kind of like that. Right there. It's very cute and so simple. So you can see how finishing up one project um, by using the scraps from that project on another project, you can really quickly uh, finish up a card, a uh, Rolodex card especially, it's so small. All right, so now we have that in place and I'm gonna go around the edge. I probably should have done that, of course, before I put the tab on, but you know, I, I am, I forget easily. Okay. So we're just going to go around the edges just to um, kind of frame it a little bit. I'm not going up inside the uh, areas where the holes are for the card. I'm just going to bypass those and do the outer edge. And that just helps it to look so cool. A little bit on the top edge as well some over here okay yeah I like that that looks so neat and it's so like I said quick and simple because I had done all of the work basically when I was gluing the scraps down um, the other day so I love that okay so that's one okay I also have another card here that was um, Along the same lines as this one, it was just a bunch of random scraps that I was using up one day, and this one was done, gosh, 
probably a couple of years ago. And um, so I just had thrown down these random scraps. It was a little bit busy, and so I had gone over it with um, a coat of gesso, a light coat of gesso. And it was still not toned down enough. And uh, so just, I think it was yesterday, I, um, I just put some um, white paint with uh, the tiny bubble wrap on top just to tone it down a little bit more. And I kind of like it a little bit more now. It's still not um, my favorite, not yet anyway. But I'm gonna add a few things to it today and see if I can't um, help make it more of a favorite. <laughs> So I guess I'll start with going ahead and putting the, uh, the frame around it just in case I put something on that extends over the edge or something. And that way I have room to get all that on without any obstructions. So it's already looking better, I think, just having the black outline. Okay. Right. So there's that. I do like it better already. Okay. Now, I found some dollar store stickers. Uh, these are like uh, three-dimensional uh, stickers that I had found. And I thought these little um, potted plants here would look kind of cool on that, on the colors uh, that are in that card. And it, because it's kind of a dark uh, card, I thought this might actually brighten it up a little bit. So I wanna see how that looks. I don't know, I have not auditioned this yet and tried it out. But I thought it might be really cute to um, to have here. I'm not sure about how the hole is going to act there, but I might be able to cut the bottom layer uh, a little bit just to keep it from, int you know, in in intruding on the hole there and causing a problem. Um, I do feel like it gets lost a little bit. I like the coloring of it and everything, but I feel like it's getting lost uh, a little bit on the background. Um, so, because of that, I might need to just put a little bit of something else back there. I think I'll like it more if I do that. So, I'm going to just lay my sticker here for a minute on this wax paper. And um, I need to think about this. Let me see what I have in my scraps over here next to me. Um, Probably something, um, maybe just something like a light pink color would look good. Okay, I'm sharing some more of my thought processes, you guys. <laughs> um, just because this is what I do. And you know, sometimes I have these things planned out and I have all my little pieces laid out, which I do. I have pieces laid out for several cards today, but, um, this one I had not auditioned and tried out to see if it was going to actually work like I wanted it to. So you get to experience a little bit of the <laughs> behind the scenes stuff. Okay, here's a little piece of a scrap that's light pink. Now I could trim that down just a little bit and put it there and then let's see what this looks like. It might not be the right shade of pink. It's kind of a peachy color. Um, and I don't even know if I want paper there. Maybe I just want to splatter some, you know, s s slather some paint on there and, and put in the background. That might be what I'll do, just paint a little area there. I don't like the, the color of that particular one. I've got some of this too. I don't know if this will make a difference if this was on the card. Let's see, Let's see if it does. This is that drywall tape. Well, it does kind of look um, a little bit better. It uh, separates the flowers from the background. And I could cut the tape, uh, you know, long ways. I was just laying it there for, just to show that it was a piece. But I think that might actually be okay. Let's try it. I'm gonna just tear out a piece. This is nothing but paper. Let's see about how wide it needs to be. Okay, 
So that would be there. And then that would go there. Okay. I like that a whole lot more. It almost looks like a, like a patio screen or something back there. Doesn't that look cool? <laughs> I love it when these little things happen that you're not even planning for. Love that. All right, I'm going to tear just a tiny bit more of this side off. Just a little bit. All right, and I'm going to just go ahead and stick it down. It's got this brown paper on the back. If I can, if I can get it to peel up. There we go. Okay. I saved some of these too because these come in handy, these little brown pieces. Uh, come in handy sometimes in, um, you know, for layering and stuff. Okay, let's put this down right here. And stick it down. It's a little bit torn there. Actually, I think I can just tear that piece away. doesn't want to tear away, it wants to stay. So we'll just put some glue on it. Yep. Okay. It got to stay, yay. All right, now let's put the flowers on. I really like it. I still think though I'm gonna to need to cut away a tiny bit from this, um, A little bit from this pot uh, on the lower level here. Okay, I think that's enough. Yep. So, whoops. cool. I think that's going to stick okay. It doesn't look like it wants to come up too badly. All right, I love it. All right, now we've got a word here, or two words here that I really like that says laugh often. Oh, you know what? That's kind of, that's kind of together with the sticker above it, so I guess I'm going to have to uh, trim it away. Little piece on there. See if I can just trim around that. Get up in there here. Okay. Now I think I'm gonna have to cut those two apart, which is okay too. I think there's plenty of room to do that. up a little. Leaving it. Is it gonna stick? Yeah, I may come back and glue it uh, more permanently later. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna leave it like that. And I love it. And that was another.
pretty simple little car and look how cute. I love it. That is so neat. Okay, cool. All right, so we got two done now. Okay, the next one I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna use this little piece of uh, jelly print. Um, looks like bubble wrap was used on the jelly plate and I pulled this little print from on a piece of book text. So that's gonna be um, glued to this card. It actually is just about the right size, but not quite. I mean, like a sixteenth of an inch <laughs> difference. So, because of that, um, I got out some of this uh, pretty much the same color paint. It may be the exact color, I don't know. But I'm gonna just uh, paint a little bit um, along the edge of that card. <clears throat> just so that uh, it will kind of disguise a little bit where the uh, jelly print doesn't quite reach. And I think this will be fine. I'll probably put on two coats. I'm gonna dry that real quick. Could have put it at the bottom, and I might put it at the bottom. Uh, also, just so that if I decide I like it best with the paper all the way up to the top, then I'll have the option available to me um, here as well. Okay. Put a tiny bit more there just in case. So, yeah, I think I will take the paper all the way to the top, and you can see how it leaves just that tiny bit of an edge there at the bottom. And since that's going to be tucked down inside, you won't see it as, it won't be as noticeable, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'm going to just put glue on the jelly print. and stick it down. All the way to this edge either but I've got something else that's gonna go over there so that that won't be a problem probably Birds and Blooms magazine and I didn't throw it away because it was just too pretty to throw away. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that over here on this side and then I'll trim away the excess. So, what about these? 
there. Just like that. It's so pretty with that little purple scrap of a jelly print. Well, first of all, I have a label, a bit of a, this, again, it's a scrap of a, uh, I think it's a label, pretty sure it is, yeah, this was a uh, print of one of my jelly prints too, and I found this little tiny scrap uh, left over in my box, and I mean, you can see why I want to keep it, look at all the gorgeous color on there, and it looks so pretty with this one. Even with the blue in there, it, it just adds a little bit of something, so I decided to put it along this edge of the card. I'll get some of that pink down at the bottom also. I'm trying to make sure I get that white line past the edge. Let's see. Probably gonna have to do it this way. see that line. Okay. Here we go. And I'll turn that off. Okay. It looks so pretty there. Just kind of a nice little balance going on. Okay. So, the label I was talking about, I stamped um, this little scripture here, and that came from this stamp set. Pick it up. That came from this uh, Illustrated Faith uh, stamp set, and it says, Everything Beautiful He Has Made. And um, that's this stamp right here. So that's the one I used there, and um, and this is also on a little label. So I'm just going to stick it down right in the middle. I think right in the middle. Yeah. picked a label that had a little bit of a blue um, color on the border and that kind of helps tie it in with the little blue that shows over here and the last thing I have you know you you kind of notice all of these are the same uh, color family this cool colors and so I decided it needed a little pop of something warm and I have this tiny little butterfly that I cut out of uh, from an envelope and I'm going to glue that on over here on the flowers. And I think it's going to just add perfect little pop of a contrasting color that will really make, uh, make the card look finished. Okay. Get those tweezers again because this guy is tiny. Yep. I think I'm going to put it right about here. <laughs> it's amazing how that works, isn't it? Just brightened it right up. 
Love it. Love it. Okay, this time I think I'll draw a border around on the inside um, just to uh, frame it all. I think before I do that though, I'm gonna punch, punch these holes here. way I can see the um, see where they are and you know, it's just helpful okay so I'm gonna punch one here and one more there You can use a regular hole punch for this too, guys. The one I'm using is a, uh, a regular, a standard hole punch from uh, We Are Memory Keepers. But you can use any standard um, hole punch to get those little holes back in your cards. Okay. All right. So we'll do that, and then I'll put my little border in and see how it's going to look here. I don't think that's heavy enough. And you know, that's writing on a photocopy. Um, so I don't know if that's going to stay. Maybe it would. Okay, anyway, I'm going to use a Sharpie, I think. I found the right one with a point on it. There we go. Let's do this. Yeah, I like that. for today. I might come back and put some white. Um, actually, I'll do that uh, right now. I'm going to put some little white uh, dots on that line. I think so. I think it needs a little bit of brightening around the edge. So we'll do, let's do like um, two, three, maybe I'll do five there. come back and I'll draw a little um, uh, black circle outline those little white dots after they get dry after it gets dry one there and then we'll do um, let's see three more here No, I don't like three ones, three singles by themselves. So <laughs> we'll do three on this one. And there we go. And this one needs to be have a little more white added. Okay. Okay. So the next one. Um, gonna do is you know I forgot to round those corners too on this one so let's do that before I forget there we go right. now this one um, I'm gonna put some scraps on from my scrap box 
and uh, I had found a little image uh, yesterday actually in a uh, catalog and I um, picked out a couple of scraps that I thought would look uh, cute with it and so we're going to just build a build up a little background here So this piece is going to go on this side. All right, and then I've got some um, book text and a little piece of tissue paper that was uh, glued to a piece of printer paper. And I'm going to just put some of this stuff, you know, pieced over the top of that. Uh, tore it, tore my book text. Oh well, at least we're gluing it down so we can glue it all together. I don't think it will matter, but it is stuck to my finger. There we go. So let's get one down, then we'll put the other one down. Okay, that come from this side? Yep. Almost unnoticeable. Fill that up so it doesn't dry there. All right, and then this little piece is going to go along the bottom. I think I'll put the glue on the card so I can avoid the uh, holes there. This piece in there. Okay. That is sticky. Drying it up a little bit. There we go. Not sticky anymore. Let's go ahead and punch our uh, holes.
looking down the corners. Already looks better, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so what I found that I liked, I thought was really sweet, and I knew it was going to fit uh, pretty well on this um, uh, Rolodex card, is this cute little dog. And it's made of, it looks like it's made of little wooden panels. And they're very distressed and uh, different colors. There's red and blue and yellow and white. I just thought it looked really cool and brown. So that's why I added this red piece over here. I thought that would kind of help to pull that red. You'd notice that red in the dog more. So I thought I would just put him here right at the bottom, like that. And then I've got a little quote, I want a little you know, phrase I want to stick over here on, uh, on the side over here where the red is. So let me get him glued down without injuring him. <laughs> Be very careful. Okay, I think I got him. Okay, I'm just gonna set him right. trying to give him a very um, neutral colored um, background and uh, so you can see him and I really like how the uh, the different book text uh, worked right there that needs a little bit more glue the uh, brown uh, pit pen to edge this one because it's um, it's got a lot of browns in it so I think that will look nice a dark brown uh, pen this one is called walnut brown and uh, I think that will help make that edge look much nicer thing is the uh, little phrase that I wanted to use and it was um, it was here and I can't find it now let me see I'm looking in the uh, Tim Holtz uh, this one is small talk book And I just have to find and remember which one I had seen that I liked. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I remember now. I just got to find it. Oh, yeah, here we go. I like this one. I'm going to have to cut it apart, of course, to fit on this little Rolodex card. But it says, out of limitations comes creativity. And I think that is so true. And... Considering how we are pretty much uh, dealing with limitations right now, I think that's uh, very cool that we can use that to our advantage and, um, and not waste the time, uh, you know, by worrying or, or anything like that. But let's just make our, let our creativity uh, creativity start to flow and um, make good use of these limitations that we're having. So that's my outlook anyway. For what it's worth, that's how I feel about it. Okay, so we got the creativity here and comes. 
gonna straighten up this one. And you know, just like some of these others, if it looks like these are not going to stick well, I'll come back later and add um, add some glue and and all. But I think that is so uh, cool looking, and it was just so simple. Uh, I may find a little scrap somewhere that I could put over in this corner area that will kind of help tie, bring some more color over here to this side without taking any attention away from the puppy. <laughs> I like that a lot. I think that looks really awesome. Okay, I have one more card to make and it's gonna feature this sweet little Penny Black sticker. <laughs> I think it's so sweet. And I've had this sticker for so long. I bought a set of them years ago and I am excited to be able to use it on this little card. So, um, it doesn't quite cover the whole card, so I've got a little piece of uh, scrapbook paper, a little scrap of that that I'm gonna put over on this side. And then I'll um, stick the sticker down. So, let's see. I gotta see how much of this I need. About an inch or so. Okay, so we'll put down uh, some glue on the card and stick it down. I'll just go all the way to this hole on this side. Okay. There we go. And then just stick this down, um, I guess right, right inside that hole. Right on the outside of that hole, I should have said. <laughs> I'm ready for coffee. Who can think when they need coffee, right? I actually have it here. I'm going to take a sip. <laughs> mm. I've gotten to where I... Mm. I've gotten to where I love ginger so much that I've been putting ginger in my... ginger juice in my coffee, and it is delicious. So if any of you are fans of ginger uh, and... Uh, you want to give that a try um, I get this ginger juice from Amazon and uh, I put in my cup that holds about 16 ounces of coffee I put two teaspoons of ginger juice in there so um, you want to give it a try if you're not sure you know you can start with a small amount maybe a half teaspoon and if that's not strong enough you can't taste it you know try uh, try adding a teaspoon instead and then just kind of go up from there that's what I did, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> Just, I love it, and it's really good for you. The ginger is really good for you, so. Okay, there's my little edge. So now I can put the sticker down. Hope that I have enough of the green there. <laughs> I think I do. I think so. Yeah, I do. Now I just gotta get this on straight. Let's see, maybe if I hold it. I think if I have to trim any off, which I am, I think I want to trim off the uh, the grassy edge down at the bottom. I don't want to cut the butterflies off, so I'm going to just stick it before I'm ready. <laughs> Let's try that again. Pull up, pulling up pieces pieces of my card here. Okay, let's try that again. I just want to get it lined up. I hope that's pretty straight. A little off here, but no biggie. Not gonna be a problem for me. Okay. Now, this is a tiny bit long um, here. And, um, oh, and I wanna get something too. I wanna show you guys a, a little tip in case you're not aware of this. One so I was looking for my little bag, um, the little powder bag that you use when you're um, prepping your paper before you do embossing. Because the powder in the bag, you can, uh, I was going to show you that you can um, tap the powder bag on the back of a sticker 
and it will take the res the sticky residue away. I don't want to punch through this and have these things get stuck in the <laughs> punch. So since I can't find my um, my little powder bag, uh, I'm gonna take some some washi tape pieces and I'm gonna just put washi tape over the sticky area and the tape the two tapes will stick to themselves and then I can punch through there without worrying about any of that uh, stickiness causing my uh, punch to clog up. Okay, so now I can punch through. <clears throat> I can see the holes, but barely. <laughs> so that's, that's a little bit of an issue, but I think it'll be okay. Pretty, um, I'll have it pretty close, even if it's not exact. Yeah, I can see light shining through there, so I think I'm managing it pretty well. Come on, get out of there. There we go. Well, doesn't want to move. There it goes. Okay. perfect a little off a little <laughs> this was a little crooked but it's okay it's still gonna work how sweet love this little sticker okay so here's what um, I can round these corners here's what um, whoops I can't round that yet I gotta trim it it's not too bad. Uh, I better round it again, make sure. Okay, there we go. All right, I love it. Okay, so the little phrase that's going to go on this one is... Turn the page. Here we go. This one's going to say, Focus on what's important. I think that'll be so sweet. Okay, can get rid of all this sticky business. two words together, but I think I'll cut them apart. Maybe I'll leave these two together because that's about the right size. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to say... on because I really uh, want to make sure that they stay put and don't go anywhere. Um, I do want to edge this. I just love this little card. I love the greens and the oranges on it. The sweet little hedgehog. And those words will really pop off of there nicely once they get um, outlined and all. So. I'll do all that. That needs to be trimmed a little. So I'll do all of that and um, show you what the finished um, finished cards look like in the photos at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you 
can see how they all ended up looking in the, in the end. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's very sweet. Okay. And I also want to outline these little circles here. This pen didn't work too well. I want to get uh, this one going here. We go. Let's use a sharpie and make these stand out a little bit better. Perfect? Nope. But they're mine. And I love them because they're mine. Little wonky circles I'm making. <laughs> it's okay. There's something really, um, Satisfying, even about imperfection. I, I, I can't really describe what it is, but I'm sure that a lot of you know what I'm talking about. It, it doesn't have to look perfect. It, it's so cool and fun sometimes just to make something look messy. And um, I really enjoy that in my art. I really do. Okay. Those little circles look a lot better. I will outline uh, the words on both of these cards. Uh, I think this one's pretty much finished. Um, this one's pretty much finished, although I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to come back and um, glue down the, uh, the words for sure. I'll check the sticker too. Uh, and I'll probably uh, outline uh, these a little bit too. Uh, this, this word choose and probably the word adventure. I'll uh, outline all those. So there you go, guys. Five cards today and um, so much fun. So much fun. So I hope you are working on your Rolodex cards and um, building yourself a little stash of uh, wonderful, colorful uh, cards to, uh, to make you smile. You know, they make me smile. Just seeing a box full of colorful art sitting there makes me really happy. So if you're looking for something to make you smile, just start putting down some of your colorful scraps, dig into your sticker stash, look in catalogs and magazines, um, just have fun, you know, just sit down and start playing and have fun and you will be smiling before you know it. So take care everybody and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.